Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. Joined now by Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. With us tonight, one of the quickest players in league history, Kenny the Jet Smith. I almost feel like I should say your name fast because that's the way you played the game. Well, I just have thanks for having me. Yeah, well, it's good to have. But is, is the show going to be fast? Because I, I heard like it's a little bit less time down here than it is up top. Well, it, I think yeah. it goes by so quick. Yeah. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron James is out there with Adetokounmpo. And there's Bryant. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Dennis in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Rockets, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Swanigan is out there with Robert Covington. And it's House in at the small forward position. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Alakim Olajuwon had the dream shake, but the step back for James Harden, one of those moves, Kenny, that just seems unstoppable. How crazy is that, Kenny? I know. Two guys from the same franchise same team. are going to have the two most iconic moves yeah. possibly in NBA history. The dream shake and the James Harden sidestep back. Yeah. Harden's added to it, Ed. He's kind of given Man. a new, new little nuance. Rickles, you know, when I say this, people sometimes get it confused with saying how great the player is but from an offensive standpoint his total package is arguably as good as we've seen because people forget he's a top five passer in our league too he's a great passer as well as getting you 38 a night using that strong fame using it to his advantage hard and showing what's up his sleeve here's Bryant the rebound by Harden Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Oh, what a beautiful point. What intensity. Did you see that? Great. In the rafters on that one. Westbrook giving the fans their money's worth. Second chance points. That helps an offense, Kenny. That's a, it's an easy way to get some scoring. Which players do the best job of keeping possessions alive for the chance to get the second chance? Second chance points, I would say Drummond, Steven Adams, and Cantor, those are guys who are great offensive rebounders, and they get it done. Don't forget uh, Montrez Harrell is another guy that is doing a great job. Dennis passes to Bryant. Down to five on the shot clock. Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Harden. Let's it fly. No good that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with Mike D'Antoni going into the first game of the season. He said, we have to attack them inside and in transition. See how that works out. If they don't adjust, we're going to keep pressing them. Well, Kevin, that seems like a good idea considering his explosive team that he has. Back to you. David, thanks. The NBA being so much about entertainment, Kenny. If you had to choose the best showman in the league, who would you pick? Ooh, the best showman. With style and charisma. Steph Curry. Mm. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be right up there, wouldn't he? LeBron is a showman, yeah. but Steph is, I think, the top of the league. Giannis is a showman, uh, but he's by grit, Harden, and, and maybe someday Zion. I, I would go with that as well. I, the, the one Harden. thing that... the. That's the one difference well, you, with him. Well, I think hey, Giannis I can know. do that. He made well. that team great before Kevin Durant got there. No, 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 no. Well, he's playing with a few other Hall of Famers. My point is, if you put him out there with guys who weren't all-star caliber players, mm. that's my concern. I, and we've seen, I'm with you, Giannis has done that. LeBron has done that. Steph's a showman in his current and Luka. existence. And Luka is a show, all time show. And a score, the likes of James Harden. It seems like he's broken it down to a science. Yes. Footwork, create space, and be a heck of a shooter. Did you look at the way you played, Kenny, as science, like we're talking about here with Harden? Uh, not maybe as easily observed as he is, but I had a game plan. I'm like, I'm going to get it from free throw line to free throw line as fast as I can. That's the first, my first thought. I'm going to, on pick and rolls, get two feet in the paint. That's my second. And every 
inch that you give me at the three-point line, I'm letting it go. <laughs> I love that answer. I love that answer. And, and it's, a, it's a great approach. And, and this guy... <laughs> LeBron passes to Dennis, and the shot goes down. He has six. Oh, fantastic vision. I mean, Bron always cognizant of everyone around him. And the great teams have those superstar players. Kenny, you played alongside the great Hakeem Olajuwon, and this Rockets team is built around another great one in James Hart. Yep, both of them, you know, they, they're able to put their team on the back offensively, but Hakeem was able to do it defensively as well. But offensively, the Beard is a phenomenal scorer and creator. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Swanigan. And it's House in at the three. That's the five for Houston right now. From deep, Harden. A rebound by the Lakers. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. That's just the communication and, and the energy. It just seemed non-existent on defense, and that can't happen. Not at this level. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Swanigan. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Looking at the top five picks in the 2018 draft, Kenny, all of them have shown good uh, play, tremendous promise, but uh, if you could choose one for your team, which one would it be? I mean, with the Doncic and Young and yeah, Jackson, Jackson and Aiton. And, uh, if I had to go I mean, over and pick it now. I mean, there's so many of them. Man, I'm going straight with Doncic. I mean, there could be only one. It's yeah. not even close. Yeah, the, Doncic is Doncic. the only guy on that list that, when it's all said and done, he's got a chance to be a top 10 all time player. Yeah, you know what he reminds me of? A, a more aggressive deadlift shrimp. Oh, I, I take. I think even more than that. I, I, to me, he's a combination. I heard Larry and Magic. He's a combination of Larry and LeBron. Because, okay. Because I could see that Magic wasn't like the score mm. that those two are. Like those guys are scorers. Right. Yeah, I get it. And then great passing ability. And the other thing about him, he's a better athlete, and he's a tremendous rebounder. I mean, that guy is special. special. And on our sideline, our reporter David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, B in that last game against the Mavericks lit up the floor. He added 37 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, right. Now, I, I'm sure he wants to come out in attack mode. The other key for him is to continue to get to his spots on the floor. And we want to thank the Jet for giving us his thoughts. Kenny, you can stop by here anytime. That door is always open for you. Well, the door's open, but I'm going to steal a key just in case you don't invite me back. I'm taking it right well, now. Well, he'll have the key. Yes, sir. I'm I'll, taking I'll, the key oh, right now. On. He's a we'll tell way back. Fellow PG, we got to let yes, him in. Yes, sir. I want to be back. You guards always stay together. And see, Webb, what can you say? Kenny Smith never wanted to pull any punches when he's talking about basketball or anything for that matter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, he was such a, an integral piece to those Hakeem Olajuwon championship teams there in Houston. And a nice shot by Bryant. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. Harden against Bryant. There's the triple. Harden, no good. Here's the three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And against one of the toughest offensive players in the league, they've been doing it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, B has been exceptional here, guys. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter, sliced right through them. He did a great job of attacking the seams, getting to the rim, and then finishing strong. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Andre Jacumbo and Van Vliet out there with Bryant. And it's LeBron James. 
And it's Dennis in at the five spot. And when you think about being fashion forward, Russell Westbrook's fearlessness extends to his game day outfits. But whoa, whoa. Come on, G.A. Russ lives by the model. Why not? I mean, the same reckless abandon we see on the court, yeah, it's reflected in his clothing. Here's Westbrook. Another shot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. It's his first trip to the line. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. 79% overall. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Daniel House. Burke, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Lakers leading by six. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Right side, Bryant. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on James Hart. I you know you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that maybe going in that direction. Uh, teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. Many sharp guys in the NBA. Here's Clemens. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Inside. It's tipped. Shot clock at six. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And Giannis gets it to go. And now it's an 11-point Los Angeles lead. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Swanning in the pass to Milton. Here's Pinson. Softly drops in the floater. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, we all know that there are some people who dislike James Hart. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. From deep, the Lakers get it back. And a new 14. That one goes in. He's got eight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And he's got his first free throw of the game. No good on the free throw. And it's clear that the Beard is a special player, a clutch performer. He loves to play the game of basketball. And he sinks the second. Lakers leading by 18. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, yeah. No need to give the ball back here. You want to close this quarter with momentum. Harden surveying the D. Another miss by Houston. Floats it up for James. Covington with a steal. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's... And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feed. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session tomorrow. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Harden and Gordon are out on the wings. Swanigan is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Westbrook in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. Here's Swanigan. That one off the back iron and out. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. 
They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. To the middle, here's Bryant. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got assist number seven for him tonight. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Swanigan. Greg, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that? Or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Hey, listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. You've got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. Los Angeles making a switch here. Onto the Kumbos checked in. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. And that's a gift if I've ever seen one. They've got to communicate much better out there. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Back to Westbrook. Just five on the clock. Outside Gordon. Lets it go from deep. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Time now for an injury report. And now David Aldridge has an update for us on Dion Waiters. David, what's the latest? Thanks, Kevin. I got some news from the Lakers head athletic trainer. He said that the hip is bruised pretty badly, but overall, it should be okay. This injury could be devastating for them. This is a team that had title hopes, Kevin, and this is not what they need. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. Yeah, but fortunately, we know he's in good hands. Now you hope to see him back on the court soon. The Rockets have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. That's the only way to hold him in check. He's got it inside. You got to have a body on him right away. Outside Bryant. Good, and the assist goes to James. 31 points for B. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Well, it, well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Covington shot is off. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And here's Bryant for three. They grab their own miss. Second chance shot. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Covington. For the Rockets, Bobby Portis has checked in for Robert Covington. And Daniel House subbed in for Gordon. Burke, he's checked in for Los Angeles. From deep, onto the Kumbo. And again, no good by the Lakers. Houston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Lakers. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for B. I mean, he had a plan for how to attack the D. He executed and never let up. Relentless offensive basketball. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. James looking it over. And it's Bryant in the corner. No good on the three. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Westbrook. James with some nice D. 
And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Burke with it. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olsen, this is Kevin.